Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel, and man, do I have one hell of a freaking episode right now for you. You guys requested this. You remember I said I couldn't get it because it was sold out in GameStop. So I went ahead and looked around and looked around and found it. If you guys love 1990s Ninja Turtles, you're going to absolutely love this episode. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So guys, what the hell am I talking about? What on earth is this guy talking about? Dun! So look at this, guys. This is based on the 1990 movie Ninja Turtles. Now, I grew up on this thing, and I got to tell you, it was one of the best days to be a Ninja Turtle fan. You had cartoons. You had, uh, uh, you know, uh, toys. You had uh, mo these movies. Uh, Secret of the Ooze also was a good one. Uh, you had all of these cool freaking things of Ninja Turtles. And, of course, who could forget the arcade game, which, of course, Nintendo fooled you with the first one. Everybody, you know, they marketed it to help let people think that it was the arcade when, in reality, it wasn't. And guess what happened? And then everybody got pissed, and then they made uh, Turtles to the arcade game and of course that still wasn't like the arcade so anyways let's get right into it so here we go this is uh donatello okay so it comes in this little thing here and i'm gonna take them all out each of them and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what each of them looks like and you guys are gonna be able to decide whether you want to buy it or not you're gonna laugh if you hear where i bought this from i got it from ebay uh but i know they have it in other uh places as well just beware make sure they're official uh the game stop where's this thing it says NECA on it uh be sure that it uh and also that it says only game stop that means it's authentic if it doesn't have that odds are it's some knockoff that's just beyond horrible okay so i don't know how uh, i'm gonna remove this uh they they kind of uh handcuff the hands here in a very stupid way yeah look at this you gotta pop them out so you could change, oh, here we go, sorry. You could change the hands here, as you can see, to however you want. So they have these little, uh, sorry, pigs. Oh, let me get it in here. Oh, where is this damn thing? Oh, here. I want to show you the pegs. And, can I get it in focus? What the hell's going on? Here we go. So right there. So that's pretty cool. And now we're going to see the paint job on these little babies. And we'll be the judge if this thing is what it is. Or if it's a putt. Look at this. Like, who? They're so stupid for making it like this. Look at this. Like, the dumb, it's like it wants to break. And this isn't for uh, for packing, uh, right? It's just because this is beyond stupid. And, of course, here's his pizza pizza. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Oh, my God. So these are posable, and you see his hands are closed here. So I think this is pretty cool. Let me see here. So these are definitely posable. Let me just see here. <laughs> it's like, there you go. So it has some movement to them, so it's pretty cool. Now, guys, I want to first show you before I, ooh, I forgot to take the, oh, the Donatello staff. How dare I? How dare I? I should be ashamed of myself. Here we go. Let's see if I can put that in his hands here. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. Guys, this is amazing. I mean, very artic articulated feet. Look at that. See, this can move too. This can move. Hiya! So, right here. Now you see these pegs here. I'm thinking they made that so you could put a stand for them. Uh, it didn't include a stand uh, like the other uh, toys did. So anyways, this is how it looks like. Let me show you guys in uh, focus. So they did a phenomenal paint job here, guys. This looks just like the freaking movie. Okay, so this is based on the 1990 movie. Look at this. Now I'm thinking you could put that in here and tie it because it is uh, rope. This is pretty freaking dope. This is dope. 
This is dope. I love the Ninja Shell. Really high quality item here. So this thing right here, kind of, it bends, but it's flexible. It won't break, you see? So it's pretty cool. Very nice. I really like the paint job on this. I mean, look at this. In freaking incredible. So that's Donatello, yo. So now, um, you know, what the hell is Donatello? Um, where's his homeboy? Who's his homeboy? Well, we got, we still got, you know, his other, his other brothers too. So this is Michelangelo. So this is based on uh, the movie here. So you could see that. I mean, they look just like in the, sorry for the glare, but just like in the movie, pretty dope. So let's take him out. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, don't tell me my doggy. Oh no, it's here. I thought my doggy took, it fell in its cage and he, she swallowed it. So here we go. So some of these be careful because they, um, so he has a thumbs up and another thumbs up. So if you want to do two thumbs up like he does, but we're not going to do that. If, uh, you know, even though you could make him hold the pizza, he comes with a pizza also. Pizza, pizza. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so he has some different stuff. So everybody got a different thing here. See, he has a different rubber band here. That's pretty dope. Um is nunchucks you gotta get your nunchucks wow he got two nunchucks here look at that it actually this is pretty good stuff i don't know what this is hard plastic i guess pretty cool so that's pretty awesome and now the disgusting part how to yank them out of there i don't know what they were thinking when they did this but very stupid. Ah, oh, there you go. It's like a zombie coming out of here. It's like I can move again. Alrighty. So, my God. It's like it wants to. It's it wants you to break it. I'm not even kidding. This thing is like very stupidly packed. So you're gonna need a, a pair of scissors to cut them out. Uh, and look, <laughs> it's like the poor guy got chained so much. Oh, here we go. Let me just straighten his arm a little. I don't think he can bend that much. Oh, okay, he could. All right, here we go. And I'll show you, I'm just gonna set him up for y'all. Here we go. So we got his little pair of nunchucks. There you go. I don't know why he can't, oh, here we go. There you go, two nunchucks right here. I gotta move, up, move them up better in a way. Here we go. So let's take a look at him. Now he looks a little crazy. Well, the word is crazy. And you can see the colors are amazing. Now the head moves. Okay, has some articulation to it. Really cool. And look at the paint job. Really awesome. The striations and lines and the muscles. Say your prayer, toitles. So now they have Shredder, actually, but they're so stupid. Instead of releasing Shredder, uh, Splinter, see, you can remove it, Splinter and um, April O'Neil and Casey Jones, what they did is, those idiots, oh, cool, now it's like it, it it's flying in the air. <laughs> what they did, these idiots, you're going to laugh because... Um, they released a splinter. They released a... Uh, where is this? They released a shredder. But instead of putting Casey Jones in April, guess what they did? Because I think they want to sell... They want to sell them in parts and fool people. So, um... Oh, man. Oh, okay, here we go. Oof. Thought I lost it there. 
So uh, what they did is they released two Foot Clans with them, which is so freaking stupid. The Foot Clans looked like idiots in that in that movie. It didn't even make make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. That's Michelangelo. I don't think they painted him that well because he looks like he has a cross eye. Or he's looking elsewhere. He has like a cock eye or a lazy eye, whatever the hell they call it. So here we go. So far, so good. We need the others. We need the others. I think we're going to save. Uh, my favorite is Donatello and, of course, uh, Leonardo. So we're going to first do Raphael. Awesome. Awesome. So here we go. Let's unbox this little lady. So now we're going to take him out. Hopefully nothing dropped from him. So let's take him out gently. Okay, so also includes a pizza. <laughs> so they all have pizza. And also, uh, this is weird. Um, the ones with the shorter weapons include, like, Michelangelo and Raphael include one of these. I don't know why Donatello didn't have that, but that's weird. Um, and, of course, here we go. That's uh, just another grip of arm here, a grip of ha uh, hand, which I, which is pretty cool. I would have much liked it if uh, they can control their fingers. Like if you had any control over their fingers, that would be totally good. But um, ooh, this looks this looks heavy duty. All right, let me see here. Not plastic, but pretty cool. So this is going to be cool. So we got two sides. Right. And now the horrible part. So guys, just get a pair of scissors, seriously. And uh, avoid this horrible, horrible mess. Alright. Alrighty. This is like gonna break. Unbelievable how stupid they are. Here we go. Wow, to be honest, these are tougher than they look. And the fact that they can take all of that is insane. Uh, so here's Raphael. I mean, this looks pretty freaking accurate. Look at that. Looks very, very accurate. And I know a friend of mine on a 3D printer, he actually made all of them. Uh, their faces and I'm not gonna lie that looked pretty freaking awesome here we go let me uh just straighten the arms here we go now we're gonna put their size on I mean this would make a kill anyone that's a Ninja Turtle fan would freaking appreciate this okay you buy this for them as a gift they will absolutely love you for it Ladies out there, if you if you have a hubby out there or a boyfriend or whatnot, surprise them with this. I guarantee you, if they come from the Ninja Turtle generation and, and, and you buy them this gift, you know, even though they probably don't like action figures or whatnot, they will absolutely love you for this because this thing is extremely high detail. I mean, this thing actually feels like leather. So look at this. Pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to just kind of... See if I could. This looks so freaking cool. Look at that. So freaking cool. Now we got one, two, three. Now all of them cost me about a hundred bucks for all of them, all this set. So it is a bit pricey. Let me get it. I don't know why it's not focusing here. Here we go. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Now, who are we missing? That's right, y'all. Lior, I meant Leonardo. So here we go. Leonardo, people. We're going to see how the heck he looks. I can't wait to see his samurai's, his katana blade. Can't wait to see his katana. 
See, it says even Nickelodeon on the cover. You guys got to make sure you're getting the authentic one because I saw people ordering from Wish and they said that they had, uh, you know, BS copies of them. Um, oh my God, I think there was. Okay, so even the long weapon one has it. I think I, I lost something here from the... I have to look at the boxes, but all of them have the the this band here. So I thought it was just the short weapon, guys. I got to look for Donatello's. I think it fell in the box or something. But, uh... She's being so annoying. She knows that this annoys me right now. So she's doing this. So freaking cute. I want to, like, take her and, like, cutify her. So cute. Kiss her, like, a hundred times until so she falls asleep. I'm talking about my dog here. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. So another pizza. Some hands here. And here we go. This is what I was looking for, y'all. Oh, my God. The sem Oh, okay. Not good. It broke. Of course, because the way they they position their stupid things. So this actually broke. I'm going to have to glue, super glue it. Not a problem. Gorilla glue, and we'll take care of that in two seconds. But of course, kind of stupid that they did that. Um, you could see. Ah. Still plastic, though. But um, now, again, what you could do is you could even give it a better paint job. And take him to school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see here. Too bad his other sword. Man, can't believe how stupid. Freaking, uh, this, this is why you got to be careful. Though I recommend just taking scissors and just cutting it all out. Uh, because you can't remove it by hand. Because these idiots, they have no idea how to pack anything. Right. There we go. I bet you something's going to break off him now too. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's where he puts his swords in. So he has that little part. I don't know how that goes in, but we'll figure it out. Ah, here's the leg. That'll probably never come out. And actually, this one came out much easier than most. Maybe because I got used to it. And very sad that I only have one katana to show you now because the other one's broken. But it's fine. Y'all get the y'all get the the gist. Oh my god, this thing is I think he's oh here, I got it. So here we go. There you go. Oh, like this. <laughs> Look at that. Look how he looks. Unfreaking believable, huh? So some of them show their teeth. Some of them don't. See, I have a feeling this was glued onto this and it came off. And I think I was right. Yep. So it's supposed to be like this and you could put it, your, your sword in there. See, look, it goes in. So you could have his swords right in the back there and then pull it out. I'm going to have to do a glue job on this. So again, guys, something to think about. They're very stupidly packed. Uh, so that becomes an issue. But um, other than that, like I said, this is going to be... You buy it for your husband. You buy it for anybody who's a Ninja Turtle fan. You buy it for your friend, for your uh, boyfriend, for anybody that you know loves Ninja Turtles. Girlfriend, sister, if they like Ninja Turtles... They will freaking love this freaking box. Look how look how crazy freaking uh, Michelangelo looks. I think they're he's the only one they painted in a very stupid way. But other than that, really freaking awesome guys. Look at this, absolutely stunning. 
really cool. I hope you guys uh, like this. Uh, if you like what you see, as always, this is the People's Channel. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Um, this is the People's Channel. This is our channel. So we don't have to sift through these paid-for idiots. We give the absolute truth, and that's what it is. So like I said, guys, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 only because of the packing, it took one whole point out. Otherwise, it looks absolutely accurate. And, of course, the Michelangelo's crazy eyes, which I think he did that in one of the parts. He looked kind of crazy. So I'm not going to go too much into, uh, to, you know, deduct too much into that. So I'm going to say altogether 9 out of 10. Definitely the best gift to give any Ninja Turtle fan. I think it's totally dope. I think that once Casey Jones in April comes out, uh, Shredder will go down in price, and so will um, Splinter. Then I'll get uh, Shredder, Splinter, Casey Jones, and a uh, April O'Neil, and it will be one hell of a freaking good ride. Anyways, have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.